Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Van Alst, I'm an artist and a basket maker and in today's video I just want to go through what's next after harvesting willow, what happens, what you do, let's chat about that. Spring has definitely started around here. Pushing up flowers. The leaves on the roses. And the frogs have been particularly prolific this year. Hundreds and hundreds of them in the pond. thing that needs to happen is bring your willow inside. Some people leave it standing out for months. I don't think it's a good thing for the bark. I think it would be better if your willow is inside as soon as possible. It will dry a lot faster. into our shed um, best is if it's an airy shed you know where there's a lot of airflow it will dry uh, faster if your shed is closed um, then it could be that your willow do doesn't dry out properly and even go goes a little bit moldy so just make sure there's air circulation happening your bundles are not all packed together you know you want a little bit of airflow going through them Second thing then is the major job each year is grading the willow. So this is where I go through all the willow varieties and grade them by size. So when it comes to making a basket, I just have to grab a bundle, soak it, and then um, soak the size that I need for those baskets and then um, make it. So um, grading is an important uh, step in um, growing your willow. Um, it gives me a little bit of time to really get to know how all the varieties did each year. It just, um, I can go through all the bundles, take out the bad sticks. Take out the diseased sticks. And, and just kind of see what's there, plan ahead, dream about all the projects I want to do. It can be quite a boring and it's very repetitive job, but um, it's, it's such a reward once it's done. It's all you need for grading is a barrel and then some kind of stick or pole beside it. it c you can mark every foot or every 30 centimeters. Of course your willow. And somewhere to put the graded willow down on the floor, a little bit of room.
I'll try to show you what it looks like when all the bundles are standing in the shed. And this is actually only in one shed. We have another shed. So these are um, three foot bundles. These guys are five foot bundles. In here are two foot bundles. This section has six foot bundles in between those beams. Then here behind it we have seven foot and in the corner there is eight foot. Here beside my workstation is all four foot. So this, this whole grading process probably took me three weeks to do this year. Um, like in condensed three weeks, there were gaps in between the times that I was grading because of very cold weather we had here. And after the grading, you just leave your willow to dry out. Um, that could take up to five months um six months depending on the weather if the weather is like murky and damp then it will take a little bit longer um you can speed up that process though by bringing it closer to a heat source bringing your willow inside um that will make make it dry out faster um i've been asked a lot um how do i know when the willow is is dry and um you'll see that the willow shrinks a lot when it dries because the water evaporates um, and that makes the skin kind of um, pull together and you'll see like little wrinkles on the skin when it's when your willow starts drying out those little wrinkles appear when your willow is fully dried out those wrinkles are quite pronounced so you can really see them on it um, and then it's just common sense you know you once you've felt what a dry bundle feels like you'll never forget it you know it's you, if you just hold it, it feels dry, it rustles like dry leaves, um, like dry kindling. You know, if you, if you bend it, it breaks, it snaps com um, straight away. So. so that's what I've been up to. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to learn for, more from me, um, you can look at the website for dates about my workshops here in Ireland. You can also look at links. I leave them below the video here. There's one link if you want to learn more about willow and growing willow. There's another option if you want to learn how to make baskets. I have a free online course. It's a free um, online video course. So you can check that out below as well. And then I'll, I have also a paid course that is a little bit more in depth. And you can um, look at the link below here as well. As always, keep on weaving. Bye.